You're watching News 24 Live and I'm Jerusha Sukthir Rath. I'm joined in studio by Neok Naidu and Happy Kambule from Project 90 by 2030. They're going to speak to us about President Jacob Zuma's promise that the country is on track when it comes to solving or at least addressing our energy challenges. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having us. Yes. Now, the president made this statement during his State of the Nation progress report, if you will. Mm -hmm. um, he made very big promises about energy in the country, and then speaking just this week, promised that actually we're on track in addressing these. Happy, you're not even cracking a smile when, <laughs> when I mention this. <laughs> Tell yeah. us why. Um, well, there, there are a few things that are still missing from the progress report. Uh, chief amongst most is the capitalization of ESCOM. So we need to know exactly where is the financial position for ESCOM. I mean, they just reported quite recently that they've got, I believe, between seven to seven and a half, seven billion um, uh, profit from last year. And it's a state-owned entity. So the, the <laughs> that kind of throws uh, it in the, in, the, in the felt a little bit because even though there is profit for ESCOM, there is also challenges about the generation capacity. Madhup and Kusida not coming back online. Um, even the fact that the synchronization is also being laid back further, further six months. So we're going to get Madhup getting online by 2017, it seems now. Uh, but also there's a large portion of the, co of the population that's still not electrified. So when we get those guys electrified and then industry starts using the necessary power, will we still be on track? That's there are big questions around there. And of course, the president almost skillfully did not answer those. Of course, of course. I mean, we just we were just talking about this in the cars that um, we're dealing with like a trifecta of sort of um, issues. Is that a business is using a lot more than they should be? Um, there's people that are electrified that don't have ac don't have adequate access because there's load shedding and um, that aspect of it. And then there's people that don't have any electrification or s source of um, energy. Um, provided by the state, so it's it's a big task or a big um, statement to say that we're on track. Uh, to say it lightly, yeah. absolutely. So let's talk a little bit about the way um, South Africa is generating electricity at the moment. We've spoken briefly about what still needs to be done, and we recognise that there's a long road going ahead. But um, a big stance of your organisation is the way we're choosing to generate electricity as a country at the moment is not sustainable and isn't the best way to be doing it. Mm. Happy, won't you kick us off with this conversation? Um, we, we feel that um, South Africa chief mostly needs to look at energy efficiency. So we need to know what electricity we're producing and for what. And where can we have savings in terms of electricity? And where we need to gener generate extra electricity, we should generate it from renewable energy. Because as we can see, the, the, the commodity prices linked to coal, coal and oil, they're all very volatile. And there is a problem with the fact that we are reaching state, uh, extents where when you start mining, you have to go deeper. And that brings more costs. Um, and, the and the availability of water, which is associated with mining, is not there. So there are other nexuses which are uh, intersecting with the issue around mining, which mining is used, uh, coal mining is used to generate electricity, which is the whole beneficiation chain. Um, we're saying that, well, we should be looking at something that's more flexible. We're saying we should be looking at something that could empower communities at a communal level, which is renewable energy. We shouldn't be looking at the centralized form of generating electricity because it's too expensive. Yeah. It's not flexible. And you switch it off, you can switch it on really quickly. So what you need to do is to um, basically use renewable energy, which is flexible and is cheaper. Nyoka, I suppose it seems like a fairly obvious argument. So why aren't we going this route? Uh, it was. It feels a little bit like South Africa knows a way of, of running our economy. We've always been an extractive industry. We've always done that sort of aspect of it. And trying to move into a new space is very difficult because, as you know, like when you, when you as a person try and make changes, it's very difficult to keep it going. So it's almost like the teething problems of trying to make that transition. I mean, as Happy said, um, this mining industry, and it is a finite resource. So I think in that Cape Times article that reported on President Jacob Zuma's uh, SONA update also talked about um, on the electricity issue, the fact that um, mine workers are losing their jobs. So why are we not using the aspect of trying to upskill 
um, those mine workers into the renewable energy space where we, where we don't um, decrease jobs but rather move the jobs into a different space and trying to, it's just almost the aspect of trying to change um, um, a routine and breaking that, that um, vicious cycle of, okay, well, we know that this is the only way we know how to do something, and it's very difficult to try and break that. So that's my opinion on that.